Hey y'all, it's Royal J and I'm back again with another video and this time I am doing something really different and I'm a little bit under the weather so if I sound a little bit weird please forgive me I am totally sorry something is going around the weather is changing um, let's get into this video as of recently I've been doing a lot of reading with books and so many different things and I've gotten into this book, which is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Ariemi. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, if I pronounce it wrong, girl, I'm sorry. I love you so much. Okay? So, I love this book so much because it just gives me... It's like... It gives you hope. Like, it makes you feel like if there's something that you want to do, you feel like you're not moving fast enough, or you feel like it's not happening as quick as you want it to, just keep hope alive and just believe that it's going to happen you know um and that's what this book is really about so to me i haven't finished the book i'm on chapter 32 um which is this and the book is really cool like i love it so we're going to be doing an unboxing video of the children of birch virtue and visions virtue and visions or something like that so I haven't finished this book because I brought it literally like a week ago. I found out about it because I've been really interested in Orishas of, you know, Yoruba and all these different things. And I was looking up books to help me learn about it, you know, as opposed to just watching YouTube videos all day. So I wanted to read, you know, and this book popped up. And I know we all say, you know, you don't judge a book by its cover. But when I saw the cover of this book, I was like, oh my God, it's so different and it's very creative and it's nothing like I've seen before you know and just seeing a black girl on the front of a book like this is just so amazing so we're about to get into the unboxing of the second book so I was trying my hardest to finish children of blood and bone before I got this so that way I could just jump right into it but hey at least I have enough time to do it right so it's cool so this is the box I got it today, which is the third. I pre-ordered it. Friday I did it. Um, during Black Friday. So tear this apart. Woo! Y'all, I can see it right there. Oh my god. I see the children of blood and bone, but it's the back of the book. Y'all, let's open it together. Okay, this is the plastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is it. I haven't even looked at it. Y'all look at it first. Y'all look at it first. Like, <laughs> like I don't. Oh. oh my gosh. Magic returned to the land of Orisha, but the fight for power isn't over. <clears throat> the war has just begun. Y'all. I'm turning the book around. Y'all get to look at it first. I remember the feeling that I got when I opened this book. Like when I opened this one, I remember the exact feeling. I was like, oh my God, because I, I had it sent to my job. So I opened it at work and I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful, oh my God. Like I was just rubbing it and I'm just like, oh. So I'm about to see the front of the cover. Whoa. Like the picture online is beautiful, but just seeing it like this is even more beautiful. Wow. It's just amazing to see a melanated black girl with big hair just be celebrated like this. Like, this is amazing. And I heard that they turned the Children of Blood and Bone into a movie. I can't wait. So, Children of Blood and Bone seems like it's more pages. So, it's a, this book is a little bit more short, shorter than the first one. Um, so, I'm going to put these two together. Like, look at the magic in that. Like, look at that. This is the back of it. This is the side. Like, wow, this is so cool. So, I don't want to open it because I haven't read the book yet. So, we, oh, wow, we have a new upda updated picture of her. A different one. Wow, that's so beautiful. She is so beautiful. 
so I'm gonna just read this part which is here I use this like as the bookmark to hold the pages um, after battling the impossible Zelly and Amari have finally succeeded in oh no I can't read that part damn so they brought magic back Y'all just gonna have to buy the book. I'm not reading that part because I haven't finished uh, Blood and Bone yet. So y'all gonna have to buy the book to read that part. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I just literally spoiled it for myself a little bit. So yes, I love, I love it. This looks beautiful. I wish I could dive right into it and read it, but I can't as of right now because y'all, I haven't finished Blood and Bone. So if you have the book and if you have been reading it, how have you been feeling about it? Like, how has it made you feel? What have you? What have been your thoughts? Like, let me know down in the comments of what chapter are you on, you know, because surprisingly, I read books pretty fast. Like, I brought this book on Friday. No, no, no. I pre-ordered this book on Friday. I brought this book, I want to say, I brought it last week, Friday, and it came in Monday. Last week, Monday. So, I'm already on chapter chapter 32 and I'm on page 252 so I read books pretty fast like when I do read and it's something that I'm interested in I read it pretty fast so I love this book and it's amazing it's great I do want to congratulate Tommy on her books because now she has two books and I'm super duper proud of her I wish I'd known about her longer I mean way before but better late than never, right? Guys, like, I, I do want to say something to tell me. Like, I, she really inspired me because I've always wanted to write a book. Like, I've always been into it, but I never felt like I could do it. You know what I'm saying? And I even remember, like, long time, like, a few years ago when I was in college for culinary school. I was always the first one to finish my homework assignments, so I would finish it, get it through, and I would go to the library and just be typing or I would be home and just be typing up my book and I would have a specific hard drive for my books. And as of recently, I've accidentally erased everything. And I was like, no. So I'm starting over, but she really did give me hope because I felt like we all can do it. You know, if this right here does not give you hope, I don't know what, like, I don't know what can give you hope. If this doesn't give you hope and motivation and inspiration, I don't know what can, what would, what should. I, like, I just don't know, you know? And I love the consistency. I love it. I do. She came out with this book in, what, 2000, was it 18 or 17? And now we have another book in 2019. Like, that is great. So we're closing out a year with a banger. I already know it's good because as far as what I'm reading in Blood and Bone is good. Thank you, uh, tell me, for being amazing and being unapologetically you and believing in yourself and not giving up because we all need to see that. We all need to see people thriving and growing and going and not giving up because it gives us hope to keep going, you know. So, I can't wait to see the movies. Now listen, okay, if there's a movie going on for these books, uh, call me. Okay, I will happily audition, okay, I will come in and do the part. <laughs> I will come in and take the part of whoever. I don't care if I have to be uh, a tree on the side and it magically moves. I don't care. I want to play a part in this movie. <laughs> I will audition. I will record my audition tape right now. But we ain't gonna do that, you know, we're just gonna save it for the audition. So. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do like videos like this, let me know and I will do more. But I feel like I was sticking to Tommy. Like, she's just great and amazing. So, uh, I can't wait to get into this book. So, let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.